Hey everyone, Doug here from 2 Plus Stuff, back with my biggest hobby haul yet. Um, basically, if you haven't watched these videos, whenever I pick up a, a cool army or my next project, stuff I'm be painting, I always show it to people, and, and some folks just really like seeing stuff that goes through my collection. And this one actually has a very special story to it. Um, basically, there was a gentleman locally who has been out of work for the last couple months. He just had a second child, and he was just hurting for money, and um, put up his beautifully painted night haunt army for sale. Now, if you didn't follow the channel about two years ago, well, two and a half years ago, uh, I actually lost my job and I was out of work for several months and I had to do the same thing. And so I kind of wanted to do a pay it forward thing where like some guys got together and bought some of my models um, at a very more than fair price to, to make sure that I and my wife had gas money and food. And I wanted to do the same thing for somebody else. So I bought an entire fully painted night haunt army that looks absolutely stunning. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now there's a lot to this and there's a lot to, to take out and take meticulous photos of. Uh, you might have seen a few pictures over on Instagram and so what I'm gonna do is throw up some really fine pictures of the, the, the high point, right? the centerpiece models, and then we'll go to the downward cam and I'll pluck out a few here or there from various units to get you a sense of what they all look like. So starting off with the kind of the main, I don't know, main event for me anyway, the centerpiece models, we have Lady Ollander and Kurdos Valentian. And this kind of gives you a sense of the scheme. Um, the Lady Ollander one, you know, typically I really consider repainting her white. I do like the white wedding dress veil look. Um, but if you are someone who runs an airbrush, you can tell these blends are pretty awesome. Kurdos, I think, looks absolutely perfect in this. Um, and then, well, I don't know, so Lady Honor is the only one, and that's because white is kind of like the definitive part of her, like, uh, it's part of her character. I mean, it's part of her backstory. It's supposed to be like a wedding veil type thing. So that's the only thing, but I really do like them. And then we'll move on to looking at Rikinor the Grim Hailer. Uh, it looks absolutely stunning. You can see the same blending up there. And then there are the Endless Spells. And that one in the middle, um, I showed a picture of it on, on Instagram. He actually bored out the hourglass that's built inside of it and put an actual, I think it's like a 30 second timer, if that, uh, of an hourglass inside of there. So it is a functional hourglass that it's just there for, I don't know, for kicks. I think it was perfect. And then we move on to my thing, which I thought was favorite. The deal that sold it on me was the black coach. Uh, the black coach is absolutely gorgeous. Um, incredible detail work done. The, the coffin in the back is kind of hard to capture because of the way that light reflects back there, but in person it looks absolutely stellar. And then behind them are some of the heroes that you'll often see, Executioners and the Dreadblade Harrows. And so now what I'm gonna do is just go to the downward cam. I'm gonna just kind of show off, basically this whole thing came, uh, this whole thing came in a big old battle foam box. This is an entire Night Hunt army right here. And uh, let's check it out. Okay, so I have my foam here. I'm actually gonna keep it off camera because the darkness of the foam makes the camera light wig out, as I just found out. So we have here uh, a full unit of these guys rocking the size from the Soul War set. And one thing that I wanna touch on um, is, so he did a fantastic job. Let me grab one of these other guys here. One of these little horse head bros. He did a fantastic job, as you can see, with all of the, the blending, I think looks absolutely terrific. Um, really, really pops and stands out. Um, the one thing I will say, though, is that I don't think, and this is a problem I see with a lot of, frankly, people who use airbrushes, uh, the works that they've completed, is that they don't go back and um, make things pop off the model. So for example, like the reason why these guys typically have like actual skeleton bone skulls that attach to them is like, you need some color. You need something to, to kind of pop off of the, the big transition you're doing. And so if we look at these guys rocking the size that I was talking about before, I went back and I just did a little bit of red stripe around the trim and I'm gonna um, cover up the bandages covering up his eyes. And I don't know, it just it needs something, right? It needs something there to make the colors, I don't know, more interesting. Otherwise it's very muted and uh, I don't know, I don't care for it. But uh, in here we have a whole bunch of Grim Gas Reapers, the Pony Men. We have uh, 20. Uh, these are chain, the, the Horde guys, Chain Gas Hordes. Sorry, I know I'm probably getting all these names wrong and the light's going berserk again. Let's move on here. 
And then we also, for my next one, I got a bunch of uh, Guardians of Souls that honestly, they're probably the worst designed models from a technical standpoint of like actually having to use um, because their arms that are right there on every Nighthaunt player that I've met loves using this unit. They're very cool, but they break by breathing on them and it's just so frustrating. Um, and so I, I have two of them. Both their arms are broken in the same place because G-dub. <laughs> um, and uh, what else? In this set, there's just the rest of that unit and 20 more uh, chain grasp hordes. Okay, and now actually is my favorite part, like straight up my favorite part. Okay, so in this one, it's, it's the big spaces one. So we have a uh, sum total of six spirit hosts. That's two minimum units. And then there's a full thing of 12 of the Miramor and Banshees, um, which I think just look absolutely stellar. They're kind of, I mean, they're painted to match Lady Olander, which, you know, again, I kind of want the white cape, but that's all right, that's all right. We have 10, so two min-sized units of Dread Blade, or Dread Scythe Herodons, there we are. And what else, let's do the thing in here. There is, oh, uh, Spirit Torment. Yeah, big boy. Leader guy with the, the big chains he can swing around, that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is, and that's, covers up all of this. Again, I'm sorry, the light's gonna freak out on you. But yeah, as you can see, it's a, just a full set of those things. Came with custom foam um, for all of it. Uh, and I, I don't know, for some reason, like these, the, the Miramor and Banshees are the unit that for some reason just really stuck out to me as being particularly cool. Uh, and so the fact that it came with a bunch of those, I was very, very excited about. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped for this army. It wasn't a purchase that I was expecting, uh, to be honest. But uh, truth be told, I'm very excited about it. So what I'm gonna do now is pack all this stuff back up, get it out of my way, and then we'll talk about kind of my plans for the army. And so that's the army. It is a full, complete night haunt army. You can build quite a few lists, I think, from there. There's a bunch of battle line choices, uh, some cool options. Kind of my plans going forward with it is I don't want to actually add a lot to it at the moment. Um, I'm really satisfied with the collection as it is. What I want to do is go back on a bunch of them and like add visually appealing parts to them. Like I said before, I think the the transitions made with the airbrush are a fantastic base. They look incredible. The thing is there's nothing that pops off the model. It's just all the same colors. And so I want to kind of break it up a little bit like the red trim on the Grim Ghast Reapers, uh, stuff, little things like that. One of the things you might notice from the actual GW like studio schemes is that a lot of the, the mounts and stuff like that, like they're the skulls and the rib cages inside of them are all actual bone color. It's clean bone, right? It's just Ushapti bone basically, but it's clean bone that makes that pop off of the, the blue and the ethereal effects and things like that. It adds a little bit of color, a little bit of vibrance to it. But all in all, I'm super happy. I'm, I'm honestly, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm more happy that I was able to help somebody else out uh, in a time of need uh, than, than anything else. Like I said, I, I haven't expressed a deep passion for Night Haunt before, but they are a magnificent looking army. Uh, it comes with custom cut foam. I got to help somebody and feel good about it. And uh, frankly, I just I think they're really cool looking. They're really, really cool looking. Another thought occurred that like, I, I do like armies where I take my models off the board less, like tough armies. That's kind of my thing in most games. I like focusing on toughness as a value. Um, and the fact that Night Haunt is, it's a its a different version of toughness than say my, my Maggotkin of Nurgle, where they have so many wounds and a good save and a save after the save, whereas the Night Haunt focus on the ethereal effect and, um, you know, using movement to their advantage with fly, that kind of stuff. So it's just a different mirror of toughness. So it does seem like an army that would appeal to me and I'm excited to start playing them. Here's your mission. If you are a Night Haunt player and you looked at my collection, y'all saw what I own, um, go ahead and leave me suggestions down below. Where can I get started? Like, what do you suggest doing to start learning the rules for Night Haunt? Because they are so freaking cool. I want to play them and have a good time with it. And also just like bring in the re-rolling ones and the bat reps and, and kind of have a sense of what I'm doing. So anyway, tell me your thoughts down below. Thank you all so much. Happy Wargaming.